For asynchronous programming like handling API requests, we can use the await block to wait for promises to resolve directly inside the template. In this example, we start by defining an async function to grab a planet name in Star Wars from a remote API endpoint. Note that in JavaScript, without the await keyword, the immediate return value of an async function is a promise instead of the actual return value itself. Here we need to create a variable for the promise because we'll need to handle the awaiting and resolving in the template section. Now in the template, we start an await block on the promise. Then immediately followed is the placeholder content that we want the app to show when the promise still has the pending state. The colon then section is where we define what to show when a promise is successfully resolved. Then the colon catch section is where we define what to display when there's an error, very similar to what we do with promises in JavaScript. And now we can assign an onClick handler for the button. And the button should then work.